volunteers, is there any activism in terms of encouraging or recruiting personnel? There's been quite a bit of effort by individual organizations within the U.S. as well as USAID. For our own part at CDC, we're looking at epidemiologists among not only our own staff, but uh, former staff and people from the broader public health community who may be able to deploy. What we're finding is that this is going to be a long road. It's going to take many months. And so we need people who are willing to go not just for a week or a month, but for several months or longer so that they can get that maximal effectiveness by being there. Although for the clinical interventions where you're working in the uh, isolation unit, we like to limit that to four to six weeks at most so people can be well rested and minimize their chance of taking a risk that might result in an infection. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Friedman, we've heard anecdotally that uh, hospitals across the country are having difficulty uh, sourcing PPE. What is the CDC's role in facilitating the PPE supply chain and the allocation, allocation of these PPEs? And could the U.S. ramp up manufacturing of PPE needed to contain a um, domestic Ebola outbreak? Dr. Lurie and Asper can address some of the manufacturing aspects. From the CDC perspective, we operate the strategic national stockpile. We've already stockpiled PPE to enable us to rapidly, within hours, deploy PPE to any hospital within the U.S. That's one of the components of the emergency funding request. But in addition, we've conducted what are called RAP or Rapid Emergency Preparedness visits to more than 30 hospitals in more than 10 states. One component of that is addressing whether they have sufficient PPE. We've prioritized hospitals near airports, where those uh, five airports where people come in, or where a large number of the African diaspora live. And we were already have identified dozens of hospitals which are prepared in terms of their procedures and have ample PPE. But we understand that not every hospital in America can get every amount of personal protective equipment they want. And that's why Dr. Lurie's office has been working closely with manufacturers to both ramp up manufacture and prioritize those facilities most likely to need it. And we've been working with the SNS, or Strategic National Stockpile, to have uh, the PPE that we could uh, uh, deploy very